good evening. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to cut a pomelo. And a pomelo is actually a citrus fruit. We used to have a lot of that in Malaysia. And the reason I buy this pomelo is because the Chinese New Year is coming and I've got something up my sleeve. So let's go and see how do we cut a pomelo. This is a pomelo which I bought from the supermarket a few days ago. And this is from, it's a produce of China. Well, when I grew up in Malaysia, we used to have a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say we used to have, we have a lot of pomelos in Malaysia grown in the uh, Perak state from around Ipoh. And the pomelo is actually green, more green in color, unlike this yellowish colored one from China. The pomelo is a citrus fruit. It's uh, the same as grapefruit and oranges and tangerines. When we want to cut a pomelo, we don't cut it like an orange or a grapefruit because there's a lot of segments here inside which if you cut it, then the juice will flow out. So what we normally do is, I learned this when I was a kid, I, I used to cut a lot of pomelos when they are in season. So what you got to do is, you look at the sharp end, which is the stock end, and this is not the stock end. So from the sharp end, you make a cut. Ooh, I've cut a bit too big, so I've cut into here. So normally you try and cut it without cutting it here. And then the next thing you do is to um, make some segments out of it. I think this is quite thin, you know, the, the skin. Some of the skins are thicker, so you just make segments. Uh, the smaller the segments, the easier it is for you to peel it off. The next thing you do is to, you know, like press it, peel it with your fingers, or if you don't want to, you can actually run a knife. Either a small knife or a big knife is up to you. Just run it so that you can, it is easier for you to use your finger to dislodge the peel, the white, the white pith. And you just peel this off. See, if we cut it into segments, then it's easier to remove it instead of one big piece of the skin. It's a thick leathery skin. Okay. it a bit. I didn't want to cut it too deep because I don't want it to sort of cut through the fruit. So you continue to remove this. And it comes out in a piece. Yep. See? Ta-da! So what you got to do is, you, you don't want to have this thing cut, you know. Uh, some people do it, some people don't want to do it. I prefer not to have it cut, but a bit of it cut accidentally is perfectly alright. So now we're going to peel the pith. So you just peel off the pith with your fingers, or maybe if you think a knife, a small pen knife is helpful, then you do it. So normally I use the finger and peel it off. The more you peel it, the easier it becomes to divide, I mean to separate the segment. So here I have removed uh, most of the uh, pith. Yeah. And now I'm going to separate the segments. So from the top, you see there's a little hole here. Yeah, a little hole. And this is the bottom. Okay. So you, sub you put your fingers through. See, it's easy to pull it apart. So you see, you get the segments, and this is already separated. Mm, you can eat this. Mm. Now what you can do next is you separate the segments. Sometimes I don't separate the segments because um, my household, we have not that many people. 
and I need to keep this. So if you slice it or cut it through and then water comes out of the segments, then you cannot keep it for long. You need to eat it fresh. But for pomelos like this in Malaysia, where I come from, we don't normally cook with it. And we usually eat it as a fruit by itself, like we eat oranges you know, and apples. And the, another thing that uh, we can make with uh, pomelo in Malaysia is we use it to make yi sang. Yi sang is a Chinese New Year dish, which is, means raw fish in Cantonese. Um, it's a dish that is invented in Malaysia, not Hong Kong or China. So it's a Malaysian invention. Now what you've got to do here is um, to separate the, the segments, you just separate it. Some of, some of it would tear off, so we, I will eat this first, you know, when I when I cut it. So you can segment it. And uh, if you don't want to eat it straight away, the ones in the segment can be kept, like here. I put it in the container and I, it can keep for a few days. Okay? So what you see here is the segments and then we can take it out. We normally eat it like this or you would want to make it into a salad. There's some salad that calls for pomelo, like for example, Vietnamese salad, they use pomelo a lot. And the reason why I buy this pomelo is that I, it's near to New Year and I intend to make yi sang. So I'm buying this first and hopefully I can make a video if I have all the ingredients. It requires a lot of ingredients. So then when, when you serve it, okay, we just separate it out, remove this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another one here that's already uh, open in the sense that it's one of the peel has come out. So this is the one that I'm going to take out now and I can keep the rest in the fridge. Let me see. Okay, so this all I can keep in the fridge, even this one, you know, which is a bit open, but it's okay. So this is how you would cut pomelos. Um, so this pomelo can be used as salad or you just eat it like this. Some of them are very sweet and some of them are not so sweet. And there are a few varieties. There's the pink one and there's this white one. So this one is the white variety. Okay, let me try. This is the segments from the pomelo. As you can see, it's all... You can see the little... Uh, what do you call that? They call it the beets. So when you serve it as a salad, you break it up or we just eat it like this as a fruit. Mm. Mm. This one is not bad. It's a bit, um, it's quite juicy and a bit sweet with a tangy taste. Not too dry. Mm. I can use it for my salad. And oh yes, before I forget. Do you know what we do with this? The peel. Some people use it, um, as far as I know, there are some people who use this like marmalade. They use the, the peel, you know, the pomelo peel and make marmalade out of it. But as kids, we love doing this. You know why? At the end of the day, we get to do this. Ta-da! My head is a bit too big now. So when we were kids, we will cut this and then we'll have a helmet. Ta-da! How do you like that? And that's the truth. And when I did it, you know, when my children were young, they played with this as well. So you've got an extra toy. <laughs> okay? I'm not joking. I'm serious. That's what I did when I was young. And that was what we children did when you were young. Okay? I hope you learned something new today. And uh, you enjoy um, peeling pomelos or using pomelos as one of the ingredients for your salad. Thank you for watching and remember to click the like button and hit the subscribe button so that you can be informed of all the videos that I upload every day. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Until the next video or the next meal, thank you very much. Bye! See you again, Loretta from Nonya Recipe. Ciao. Thank you, thank you, thank you.